but I have a confession to make. We're here at, where are we at? Rail Fest. In Kirtland, Ohio at the Lakeland Community College. <laughs> Cool, so we're gonna go upstairs and get our bird's eye view of one of the big rooms with lots of vendors and displays, and it's gonna be cool. We're having so much fun. I've already purchased some things. It's been a really fun day. We're gonna run some trains later. I'll get some footage of that too. Let's get a bird's eye view of this big room. Sure did. <laughs> God, it's that model railroad couple. Again. It is. That's us. That train couple. Train couple, model railroad. Play, <laughs> that train chick and her sidekick. We, we prefer that too. <laughs> underneath the Burning River and Society and track modular layout and so this is kind of a behind-the-scenes look it has gotten really crowded out there 
at RailFest. We walked around and got some cool footage I think you've already seen, but I have a confession to make. I kind of make a cursory glance and I'm always, always, always on the lookout for anything green because I'm trying to find Bayline stuff. So anything green as I'm kind of looking around the vendor tables, I, can't, I really don't care what scale it is because I want to collect all the scales and everything that I can from the Bayline. So it's green and yellow and sometimes orange. There's orange Bayline cars. And um, that's what I do. I kind of look around the vendor tables and make a look and I'm glancing and I'm looking around and it's not green and I keep going. So this is, this is underneath our modular layout and I was gonna, like, I can see all the people who are there. There's tons of people here and I'm so glad to see the revival of the train shows after COVID. Um, I know I really wasn't in the train show scene in 2020 so much, but um, I know that everything, of course everything stopped and everything died down and now it's all, it's all really back up again and it's super cool and there are little kids who are really getting into it um, and I think it looks really neat. So I wanted to share my, my train show confessional. I'm always looking for Bayline stuff. I'm always checking eBay for Bayline stuff. In the comments, tell me what you're always shopping for. What's your favorite line? What's your favorite type of train? What kind of What kind of train memorabilia are you shopping for and yearning to find? right now, let me know in the comments. We're here at Rail Fest in Kirtland, Ohio, and I am with, will you introduce yourself, sir? Uh, Gordon Donaldson from Elkhart, Indiana. And what do you do? Uh, actually, I'm a train engineer. I work for Norfolk Southern Railroad. I've been there for 25 years. I've, uh, in the 25 years, I was a conductor for five years, and I've been an engineer for a little over 20 now. Oh, wow. Do you still do that, or are you retired? No, I still do that. Oh, I, wow. I'm an active engineer. I was running the train yesterday. <laughs> so, oh, two days ago now, so. That's cool, that's really neat. So I see on your shirt, there's this thing called high ball. Is yes. that what I'm looking at down here at the table? Yes, this is a, a brand new game. My wife and I have designed it. We actually make it out of our house in Elkhart, Indiana. As, as you can see, it's got two boards. You can do one board with a small group, up to four players, or you can do two boards with a large group, up to eight players. Basically, the way the game works is you start with an engine card. Everyone's given one at the start of the game. You start at highball, which in railroad terms means go. Mm -hmm. You go around the board, and you get a collect a train card as you build your train. Oh, okay. When the train cards are all gone, whoever has the longest train wins the game. I mean, anybody's been watching the media lately. It's been a lot of derailments and stuff going on with railroads. Yeah. So in this game, it has the same thing. So these cards govern how your game goes around. So right now I'll go with what the media is playing 
on the ground. Mm -hmm. So if you go around and you land on the ground, you pull a card and it'll tell you something. One of your trains has a major derailment on the main line. Go back five spaces. That sounds awful. As you go around, you can see you have eight in sand. Uh -huh. Now that means you're a notch eight in your engine and you're laying sand. So that means your railroad's running well. So you'll pull a card like this. Let's see, a passenger train that leases your main line runs for three months with no delays, paying your railroad their full contract rate. Move ahead three spaces. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Let's see what that one says. It says, an F1 tornado rips through the south, causing damage. If you're on Louisiana, go back four spaces. Oh, so, no. <laughs> see, now, if you're on Louisiana, <laughs> yeah. even, if, even if it's, you know. Not your car. Not your not Yeah, your if turn, your train is on Louisiana. And you got to go back four spaces. So, uh, we bought a box for that train couple. And we will probably be playing this on a video and showcasing that. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. So thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, it sounds like loads of fun. This would be, this would be really great. Well, thank you so much for sharing. You're very welcome. All right. So I'm here at my club's layout. It's an N track layout modular, and I am running a train. There we go. Oh, I'm doing selfie. So I can't see you guys. There, hold on. Now you can wave. Yeah, they waved. <laughs> so I'm running a train to end the day at Rail Fest. This has been so much fun so we got some things and we saw some people and some of our online friends have like we met for the first time which is pretty cool and um we didn't get that on camera but uh this has been a huge show there's multiple rooms um lots of vendors lots of displays and tons of people and it's been a lot of fun so i have got to pay attention to my train <laughs> I'll show some footage of my Bayline engine and Bayline train that I'm running right now. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share if you have not already. Comment below too. That helps us out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. So um, that's what I do when I look through all the vendor tables and go around and um, peruse. So. Hi, I'm vlogging. <laughs>